there is a hurricane headed right for us. What are we doing? <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. Mosquitoes can't get you if you're doing a mosquito dance. Is that snake skin? Yeah. Oh, it is. That's a tomb. I see a skeleton. <laughs> okay. A skeleton. I'm Heather. This is my husband, Brady. We are traveling the world full time with our two little girls, Alexa and Chloe. We are on a mission to explore the world together, showing our girls the beauty of the people, places, and cultures all around the globe, documenting our journey along the way. Subscribe so you never miss an episode. So what do we do? I don't know. There is a hurricane headed right for us. So our decision is we either can stay here and hunker down and just hope for the best or we can pack up and move on to somewhere that's not in direct impact of the hurricane. We're supposed to be here for two more days and then we have three more days in Mexico after that so we're just trying to figure out essentially how we want to end our time here in Mexico. We're kind of leaning towards heading south, getting outside of the hurricane path. And just because we're a little over Tulum, it would be nice to head to Chetham Mall and just see a more local city. Pros and cons, like we have to drive three hours to get there, Yeah. but at least we're out of the path. It still could be really rainy to where we couldn't enjoy anything, but at least we wouldn't probably be dealing with flooding and yeah. all that. Tulum, the way that the elevation, like everything flows into the downtown area that we're staying in. So it is quite likely that there will be significant flooding here. I just have these visions of our car floating down the river of uh, yeah. <laughs> flood waters. Um, so we don't want to get stuck in something like that. I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is. Chloe, do you want to go on a road trip? Yeah. yeah. All right. Chloe's the boss. There you have it. Let's get packed up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You win. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's gonna tickle a lot, girls, okay? It tickles in your nose. Just tilt your head back. <laughs> yeah. And try to stay really still, okay, buddy? Chloe it's gonna tickle a lot. Over on that side. Just stay really still and close your eyes, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Good job, buddy. Good job. All right, Chloe. Chloe's oh. <laughs> holding your nose. <laughs> you have to do it, baby. It's hey, okay. buddy. Maybe we'll get a special treat after this, okay? Uh, I bet we will. Okay. Stay still. It tickles, tickles, tickles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you listening to an audiobook too? What? Are you listening to an audiobook? Yeah. It's really bucketing out here. It's what? Bucketing out. Bucketing. <laughs> and it's pouring. I, I assumed we'd be able to outrun the hurricane, but we're definitely getting hit with it. And we have some sort of checkpoint or something here, so. Okay. Anyway, so we are headed as far south as you can get in the Yucatan. Um, we will be on the border of Belize. It looks like a cute little fishing town. We've got a nice little Airbnb for a couple days. We're basically just trying to get out of the path of the hurricane, but it's a good excuse to get out and explore a new city. Alice is in love with the Mad Hatter, do you know? The Red Queen got the news yesterday, and now turn they're right running out. Turn right. Then turn right. Buenas tardes, estamos aquí. Ok, gracias. It's a cute little place. Girls, did you see those kids outside? And there's a playground nearby. Maybe you can make some new friends. What about this reminds you of Mimi's house? Nothing. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, will you show us around? Yes. So this is the living room. Living room. 
This is the sink. This is the sink. And this is the very small bathroom. Okay. Toilet, shower. I'm getting really good vibes from this place. Like, there's all these kids outside playing and they it's smile and wake up and say hi. I don't know. I'm excited. This is me and Chloe's bedroom. Ooh. You even have a little desk? I do wear school. <gasps> cool. This is mommy and daddy's room. This is their. Closet. Ooh, yeah. hammock, hammock. Ooh, hammock. Closet one. Hammock for one. The kitchen. A little kitchen. Nice. I just saw this painting, and it looked like it would be called the painting of the woes. It's right when I saw it. And the, you see all those paintings that are on paint. Those paintings are pieces of the same. The Maya people, they use it oh. to have a good luck for the love, for the couple, mostly for the family. For why? For staying together all, all the life, you know? Oh. Look at it. Put your hand, little girl. Can you put What's it down, What's your name? Chloe? What's your name? Chloe. 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 Okay. Nice name. For your it's a queen. ¿Quién es el que anda aquí? <laughs> what do you think about that, Chloe? What do you think? I keep that. that, that that's long for all your life, you know, because... <laughs> what you get, buddy? Chloe. Crickets. Watch me. Yeah, I Are you going to name your crickets? Um. You think about the names you want to give them. Take your time. I see marquesitas. Yummy. We have to find tacos first. No. Tacos first. No. I've you seen like 10 marquesita stands yeah. already. <laughs> I can't find any tacos, like but there's marquesitas <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> cricket, cricket, cricket. We have to be quiet because these guys here, they have, they're holding their nets. They're waiting for fish to come by and then they'll throw their net out and catch the fish. Chloe, you gotta be quiet, they're catching fish. <laughs> Do you see them standing with their nets? So holding their nets. They're waiting for fish to come by and they'll toss their nets out. I want the fish to be safe. Maybe you could buy the fish from him and set him free. Maybe you could trade one of your grasshoppers for a fish and set the fish free. You can't eat grass. Orange, you cannot eat glue. So Shadamal is just kind of a tiny little fishing village. There's this long mail con. It's a beautiful night out and it's kind of cool to see all these men out here fishing with their nets and uh, bringing home their catch for the day. First impressions of Shedham Mall? I feel like this place is kind of reinvigorating my love for Mexico. Like, I don't know what it is. It's just so chill, so they laid back, no so like here. authentic. It just feels <laughs> like... It's the lack of tourists, I it's believe. Like, it just feels like real Mexico, and I'm I, loving it. I found it's names awesome. for them. Crickeria and Crickerana. Crickeria and Crickerana. How about crepe? Let's continue our search for tacos. We all really had our hearts set on street food, taco street food. They don't have any tacos! They don't have any tacos. We walked all over and cannot find any uh, food stands that sell tacos, just marquesitas, which we'll come back for those but we may have to grab some food at a restaurant before then. How many turn? Um, mischieving monkey. Mischievous monkey, mm. that's a good one. Yeah. Over an N. N. A nice newt. Ah, nice newt. We're playing a game where you have to go through the alphabet and figure out an alliteration kind of game where you find an animal and a describing word and you go through the alphabet. Taking turns to see who came up with the funniest little word. Let's see, mine was cuckoo cockatoo. That was a good one. Um, outrageous. Orangutan. What? <laughs> outrageous. Brady is the worst person in the world to play games with. Let me just tell you right now. <laughs> I was going to say outrageous ostrich. Oh, that's o better. Thank you. Outrageous octopus. Outrageous octopus. That's perfect, Chloe. Good job, Chloe. R. Wrestling Rhinoceros. That's good. How do you spell wrestling? Oh, with a W. <laughs> yeah, I'm 
I need to go to bed. <laughs> and let me just say, spelling is not my strongest subject. I got one. I have really good one. My first one was a fancy Florida flamingo. Ooh, I like and that too. mischievous Mexican monkey. Good job. Apple eating x away fish. <laughs> 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 Hilarious Hungarian hippos. That's a good one. Ingenious Incan iguanas. Oh, I was I could thought of ingenious jumping Jamaican jackrabbits. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we could go all night. Last one. La lazy Latvian lions. <laughs> People think we're crazy. I'm sure. <laughs> yes. Well, Russian raccoon. Good job. They have pineapple and passion fruit and mango. I want to try pineapple. Well, what I do feel you like put we in? Get a, like with Nutella. Mommy. So? Well, Mommy. yeah. Nutella goes with everything. So, I mean, name it. What do you want? Gracias. Wow. <laughs> Hi there. It's like, it's huge. Good grief. That's crazy. What did you get in there? A little bit of everything. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Look at this. <laughs> Pineapple, banana. I think there's mango in there somewhere too. <laughs> Push back now, thank you very much. We're not sharing. Hey. I think we have a problem. I made up a food rhyme that is messy Mexican marquesita, which Good is job. marquesita is crepe in Spanish. You got messiness all over your face. <laughs> Jungle trek begins. <laughs> Are we even allowed back here? It feels kind of. I think we're gonna see You're gonna see what? I think we might see monkeys. Oh, that would be so cool. I want to see an owl. Those are my second, third to third favorite animal. <laughs> what? What animal? Those are my second to third favorite bird. An owl? Yeah. I don't know if there's owls out here. I More likely, we see a monkey. I think. This morning we have come out of Shadow Mall, about a 20 minute drive north to Ashtangan, I think is how you say it. Uh, it's a Mayan settlement that was relatively only recently discovered. It's very much deep into this jungle and we have soaked ourselves in bug spray because it's pretty bad out here. Chloe, do you feel like an adventure girl going through the jungle? Yeah, adventure girl that's not for the bugs. Good. Explorer Chloe climb the pyramid. So this is our what fourth Mayan settlement that we've explored. I think we're coming to the conclusion that the smaller places are the best because there's literally no one else here. And I mean it's pretty and wild. You can climb on them, which is just makes that's the, the best. That's the best part. Plus, I love seeing like this one where we're at right now. It's like it's it's hardly unburied yet. It's like there's so much around it that's like... It's untouched, like a lot of the other locations are... They, a lot of the other locations have been restored. Yes, which this is cool. This place is completely untouched. Isn't it amazing up here? This Whoa. is like everything up here. Yeah. Oh man. Girls, this temple is what? 1,600 years old? Something like that? That's crazy. It's also so nice that we don't have to rush because it's so overcast, the weather's so perfect. Because of the hurricane. Yeah, because of the hurricane. Yeah. One more song. This is amazing. And there's something over there too. Oh. Over there, right over there. <laughs> Metronome of typewriter keys. A simple thought brings you to me, and I'm thankful that kind of old. baby ants are coming out a little bit. Oh, that's a cute 
Is it so cute? I'm so glad Wait, do you like I ants? found you yeah. the old fashioned way. In a time when we want it all. Voila! Voila, can you show me what you drew? I drew the ants. Cool. Does that help you make you feel better? A little better. A little better. Ants can be a little scary. I got bit by one really bad one. Yeah, you did. Too much, too much. Until they get down the cliff. Well, girls, this was the palace. What? Yeah. What? That's so cool. That was the palace. Now the ants have the palace. Lucky ants. Lucky ants living in the palace. Now they're princesses and princes. It's not a wishing well. I don't think you guys should look at no. that, okay? What are sacrifices? It's when you give up something for something else. I guess I gave up Pinky for something else. Kind of like that. Everyone do their mosquito dance. Mosquito dance! <laughs> mosquitoes can't get you if you're doing a mosquito dance. Look, that's like a stick. Oh, yeah. Oh, buddy, that's a brain mantis. That's the same kind of bug that jumped at you last time we were around the same. It's okay. You're safe. You're safe. You're safe. Are we going up here or not? Do you girls want to know an interesting fact about praying mantises after they mate? What? What? The female eats the male. True story. I'm so glad I found you the old fashioned way. Do you think that's still the original color, or do you think they're restoring it? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't seem like they're really doing much to restore it here. So if I understand correctly, that's how all of the pyramids would have been covered originally, with that plaster work and carvings and red paint. Um, but in the other Mayan cities that we've been to, we haven't seen anything like that before. I think it's the original color, because some of it gone and if they painted it they would paint the whole thing is that snake skin yeah. oh, it is <laughs> girls it's okay, okay. It's there's no snake in there listen no listen. it's a snake skin man it's amazing to see the tree roots just punching their way through The ants are all over here. The path leads through here. <laughs> Sorry. One bit me. <laughs> it wasn't a bad bite though. It just scared me. <laughs> Drop the camera. How's the camera doing there? Fine. Squash the ant. What in the world? What were they thinking? Like, that's completely straight up. Can I climb it? Do you think that it wasn't? It probably was built out, well, I don't know. That's what I don't understand is like, you think that they were all have been built out longer. Like obviously there's been Whoa, erosion. Oh, look at this. Whoa. That's a tomb. I see skeleton. <laughs> okay. A skeleton it's it. just fake, it's okay. Just, it's just for show. Yeah, it's not for real. But that is pretty creepy. The reason there's a skeleton in there is just to symbolize what they're made for. That's where they would so bury this, the important people. This was a tomb. Did you know even the Great Pyramids of Giza in Egypt? Those are tombs. Oh no. Yep. So somebody really important was buried there before. Yes, the Jesus was put into a tomb, but it looked a little different than this. It would have been probably in the side of the cave. Okay, Chloe. But yeah, I watched the video. Walk right in front of it. Yep. Chloe. Why does it have a walk? That have a walk in front of it. Hey Chloe, used to. can I take your picture? Will you go lay down next to the skeleton? I'll take your picture. Brady. <laughs> no, daddy's just being funny. Not very well. <laughs> Do the mosquito dance. Just mosquito foot. You showed up uninvited. I was caught off guard, I was unexpected. But now see you, there's no way to hide. You cannot 
not slow down or stop moving even for a moment. The mosquitoes are so bad. And We've been quiet. and quiet. Like normally they make that high pitch noise. What was that? Do it again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> perfect. Um, so you know that they're there, but these ones don't make any sound at all. So we're just like constantly doing the mosquito dance. <laughs> and coating ourselves with bug spray. Well, I tried to explain to Alexa what this was up here, but she already knew what it was. So Alexa, you explain it to me. This is the Spanish chapel. It's not very old because the, the Mayans lived a very long time, but the Spanish came, they took over the land. Yeah, and then they built their own chapel. Mm-hmm. This thing right here. I find it very rude that the Spanish would just come and take over everything and build their own stuff and kick people out. I'm glad we never did anything like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> don't get me started. I'm, I don't like, I don't like it. I don't like how most civilizations have started and how they had to take things from other people to get what they have. I just don't like it. But. So you know how the Spanish stole everything that the Mayans made? Yeah. I'm going to ask everybody what they want that somebody else has had and if they can find it in this store. If they can't find the store, I'll make them a basket. But if they can, I think I'll just give them a bunch of jobs. Oh, so they can make their own money? Yeah. As we were walking back, Chloe was talking about how um, it wasn't nice that the Spanish stole the Mayans' land and how if she were alive then, that she would want to do something to help protect the Mayans and keep the Spanish from invading. And she had the idea that maybe she could make baskets and give them to the Spanish so that they would be happy and they wouldn't take things from the Mayans. There's a mosquito in here. I think that's a good idea, Chloe. Chloe. <laughs> what are you doing? Having fun? Yeah. Do you like sleeping in the hammock? I'm not sleeping. Okay. Are you going to sleep in the hammock tonight? No. Okay. Um, yes. Okay. As long as Daddy lets me. Okay. Do you say you'll let me? Mommy, yeah. you want to see me in the hammock? Uh, I just saw you in the hammock. Oh, you're going to. Oh, for a hundred times. I saw you in the hammock already. Were you a having fun in there? Yeah. Is this our, your favorite house we ever stayed in? Yeah. Alexa's kind of loving this house, too. Uh huh. It kind of feels like we're staying at, like, our abuela's house. Don't you think, Brady? Like, it feels really like we're just staying at, like, a... What's an abuela? A grandma. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no, like, it just feels like you're staying with family, kind of a feel. So, what's the next plan? Where are we headed? <laughs> That's a great idea. That's a great question. Uh, you mean, like, tomorrow? Or you mean, like... No. All right, so we're wrapping up our time in Turkey. Or sorry, Turkey. We're wrapping... <laughs> Spoiler alert. Yeah. No, we're wrapping up our time in Mexico. We're wrapping up our time in Mexico. We are heading to uh, back to the United States in a couple of days to visit family. And then we are very excited. We are heading to one of our favorite countries. The girls have never been. But Brady and I have, and we absolutely loved it, and it's Turkey. We've just been trying to plan out our run through Turkey, and every time we do our research, we just discover more and more cities and more things to uh, explore. So it is slowly becoming a very long trip <laughs> through Turkey. Um, but we couldn't be more excited. There, There's just, I mean, so We could much. do a whole loop around the country. That's kind of what I want to do, but we'll see. We're, <laughs> we're basically mapping out this run that's about probably a 5,000 kilometer drive through various cities in Turkey. And it just looks so ridiculously awesome. So we're very excited.